How you doing everyone? Today we're going to talk about outdoor kitchens. Outdoor kitchens are great to bring up the value of your home. They're also great for entertainment. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the steps I took to create my outdoor kitchen, some of the material I bought, some of the step-by-steps I took. So hopefully this will be good for you to create a kitchen like this. So the first thing you want to do is draw everything. Draw everything the closest to specs as you can. Make sure you allot for the correct space for all of your inserts, the drawers, the access doors, the grill. Make sure you know the space that you're working with and draw everything out on paper with the correct measurements. It's gonna be a lot better and a lot easier for you to actually create the kitchen when you do this. To a top view, uh, mine is 10 foot by 10 foot. Uh, and then after you do that, you pretty much start doing the framing. I put my framing on top of one inch treks and the reason I did that is because you don't want to lay down the framing exactly on the floor. You want to have a little space in between to let air flow and to also allow for water runoff. To do the framing I used two and a half inch 20 gauge galvanized steel. You need to buy the track and you need to buy the studs and you can find that at any Home Depot. Once you have the frame up, start framing around for the inserts. Make sure to measure two or three times according to the spec because you don't want to have any issues when you put those inserts in. And when you're doing the framing around the grill, make sure to reinforce that area really, really well because the grill is really heavy and you want to make sure you have enough support. I wanted to go over some of the uh, tools and, and equipment that I bought. Um, I got the liquid nail, heavy duty, to hold up the cement boards. And then I have a couple other things that I bought. I bought some aviator clips, which are pretty good to cut the metal studs. These pan head screws, which are 7x7 7 7 16. And they're small, but it's great when you're putting them into the, uh, the metal studs. And um, I was using this for the actual metal right here and they hold pretty well and they're not super long so there's not a lot of waste and then I used these screws over here which are the outdoor one and a quarter screws to hold the cement boards so I use these for the cement board these for the metal studs and I also use these for the metal studs as well I got a grinder here the grinder is useful to cut the cement boards, although I cut most of the cement boards with a circular saw that I have over there. Make sure you have some grips to hold down the cement boards as you're cutting them. And I set up horses over there in order to cut the cement boards to make sure that the cuts are nice and straight. So here's the board, I already measured it. I marked it with a line right here where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut it with the uh, circular saw. It's only half inch so it goes right through it. What I did here was the difference between the blade and the guide, it's about one inch and three eighths. So I move this one inch and three eighths. So when I put the circular saw against it, the blade will be right there exactly where I need to cut. So I'm just going to cut this right now. Also when I put the boards, I put them about a quarter of an inch off the ground to allow for water runoff. So here's how the outside kitchen is looking. It's all framed out. I used two and a half 20 gauge steel to frame all the way around. Here's where the grill is. I already ran the electric, ran the gas. For the outside, I'm using cement board. It's the half inch cement board right there. Here's my main gas line. I ran the two pipes for the plumbing. So I'm right behind the house. 
So I was easily able to access this underneath the crawl space. As you can see, I reinforced all the areas where the components are going. Put several outlets out here. So what I did here is this is where the refrigerator is going. So my main power line is coming from here into a junction box where I basically tied in the wires, one going and feeding the rest and the other one feeding into here and what I did was I put a two-way switch here and each one of these switches is controlling one of these outlets one for the top one for the bottom so the bottom is going to be my refrigerator which I can turn off with the switch the top is going to be for my lights so I'm going to have low voltage lights all around and I'm going to be able to control it with that switch so I don't have to keep you know going in so I'm going to connect the transformer to it and that's how I'm going to connect it the cement board is put on uh, with glue and I made sure to put in the glue spots all over before I put the cement board now as you can see I put the full cement boards and I'm just gonna cut out the areas where the uh, units go which I feel would be easier here's where the burner goes I double reinforced everything to ensure that um, you know it's gonna hold I'm gonna put granite on top leather granite I also reinforced a lot where the barbecue is going so I measured from here taking into account the granite for the gas lines I put a valve so I have my central valve here which controls everything then I have a valve for the burner and I also put in a valve for the barbecue these outlets are interesting these boxes I'm sorry um, with the boxes you put a screw in here you know you put a screwdriver in here and you can screw it out and it comes out and comes in I'm gonna finish all of this with stone so it's important that I'm able to basically adjust that to the right height of the stone so when I put the outlet it kind of works I was uh, using this here to cut the outlets in the cement board so I use this to cut around um, it's for an oscillating tool it's actually pretty easy to use and it goes right through the half inch cement board so I use that for that here is I used a an inch drill to drill a hole through here so I could get the sew sock in there We got everything from barbecue guys. See here, we're gonna cut a hole right there. So you can put in the water and the drain because the sink is gonna go right here. So right now what's left is the countertop and the stone work. 